crew. This is Brandon from Navico. Yeah. Brandon's going to go over some of the features on this boat for us. Yeah, thanks for coming aboard, guys. So this is a boat demonstrating our new Simrad Auto Captain uh, system. Uh, you saw it when you were boarding. We have a series of stereo cameras integrated into the hardtop. There's six of them on this boat. Uh, there's two right above my head here. Um, also inside this pod and one in the front is a, a dedicated GPS unit. So we have two GPS units on the system. All that harnessing runs down into uh, central compute down in the uh, down package in the cabin. You'd never know it's there. It's fully integrated. Uh, that computer is running the algorithms, taking all the inputs in, and then it integrates into the user interface that you'll see on the on the MFD, as well as the Mercury propulsion system through a joystick. And so we focused on three main features that we wanted to enter the market with. Uh, this boat will exit the dock. Uh, we got kind of an easy exit here, but sometimes you're down an aisle in a marina, it's crowded. Get me out of the dock, you can get me up the aisle a little bit. Um, it can move in space, so if you were just out in water and there's a lot of boats around you, uh, get me away from those boats and then I'll drive. Uh, you, so you can do it out in the open water. And then finally, docking. And you have a lot of control there. Do you want to come in, stern in, bow in, port side, starboard side, um, and select that docking location? So It'll do that without input from you? It does with input. So you, you, we'll show you on the screen there. So okay. you know, take me out of the dock and put me there. Let's go. And then uh, put me in the dock, starboard side, stern in, go. You know. Punch yeah. You, we'll, we'll show you in there. You can spin the boat around, put it where you want it, and say go. And uh, the system takes over from there. Wow. Very cool. <laughs> so, so yeah, come on board up here in the uh, yeah, air yeah. conditioning as well. <laughs> so part of the integration as well is in the MFD. So this is this user interface is a. Uh, Turn the engines on so we get that error gone. Um, this is an application running on the MFD. So it's a native application. It's not coming in through HDMI on a computer or something like that. It's more snappy. It's running directly on the MFD itself. Um, it builds with this perception system, it builds the map of the world around it. So we're in these docks. The brown are the docking surfaces, the white are the boats around us. Um, and when we were ready to leave the dock, we would just say, you know, put me out here and uh, no drag way. me out here and turn me that way and say go. I got, we have to untie the lines first, sure. but uh, then we'll be able to go. But, That's crazy. Uh, so you start positioning. And so it's going to exit out. It's monitoring that tiki boat in front of us right now, yeah. but uh, as it, so we're holding position a little bit, waiting for that to clear. And once it resumes, it's gonna pull us off the dock a bit. Yeah, see it's tracking right there. We give you those red lines just to show you that, yeah, it sees it. The system actually can see 60 that, meters beyond that. This is crazy. Like, you don't even think anything like this. Is yeah, possible. nobody's touching anything. The boat is completely maneuvering itself. It's coming into the space away from the dock so you don't scrape your boat on the exit. That's, um, that's crazy. And the nice thing is because it builds this map real time, it means it works anywhere. You know, some systems will only go back to the dock you start from. And this is Mercury, right? This is a Mercury based system, yes. Okay. Um, and Simrad all within the Brunswick portfolio. Okay. Uh, this means that we can go to a new restaurant we've never been to, the system will see it, map it, show the dock, and you can say, put me there, and it'll, it'll work there. So it does have the ability to have memory to it or remember docks that you've been to. So if we went out for a ride and came back here, it's been here all day, it's been here a lot, it knows the stock. So it'll be popped up already and not have to build that map from scratch. How long does it take to build a map? Uh, it's, Couple yeah, a couple of seconds, you know, it's okay. as you're kind of driving through, if you kind of come in the area, it's, it's real time building. Um, so where's my, okay, this is, act, so where's my chart at though? My oh, like a cartography would be on a, a separate app right now. Okay. To your point, Anya had mentioned this in her press release too. This is a foundational platform we want to build on. So we're coming in with those three main features, but we have a roadmap of, could we integrate cartography in here so we know depths and we could pick things farther away. Correct put in some longer range sensors so we could do it at a higher speed. At 60 meters, we're confined to slow speed stuff, right? Okay. That stuff will come too fast. This is pretty much docking. This is close quarter maneuvers, you know? You're around other boats, you're docking, you're getting out of docks in very precise ways. Once it reaches the position, it'll go into position hold that is precise within a meter. So better than a sky hook hold, which is made for long operation, this is, it's a close quarter system. You can't have much drift, you might drift into a boat or something, right? So it'll hold us here until we give it another input. You know, I could interrupt it and say, you know, actually I want to be more straight. You know, go ahead and start. So you don't have to wait for it to finish. You can stop it. I could have put it over there and said, take me further that way. Um, we'll just kind of write out again here. Once it gets there, it'll wait for the next command. Additionally though, if 
we saw something we didn't like or just decided that's good enough, you touch any input on the helm, it overrides this system, it goes into standby, you're in charge. You know, so if something made you nervous, if you grab this joystick, the throttle, the wheel, it'll shut this off and you're, you're kind of controlling the boat entirely again. I won't tell you some of my experiences, but... <laughs> So 100% autonomous, basically. Right now, yes. The captain is meant to stay at the helm, monitoring the situation. You're still the captain, right? Um, but the system is very reliable. Um, it's now, do safe. you guys see this system being mounted on this side, with uh, away from the captain, where you oh, have no. two people? This says no, the captain would probably run it right here. Okay. We're doing this for the sake of the show. Okay. We can all gather here Just and not display. be in his space, you know. Um, so now, if we wanted to get back to the dock, you know, I could say, all right, hold position. I want to dock. This is how you pick port or starboard side. So we're going to go port side and drag the boat back in there. And it's going to kind of snap to the dock and just highlight the side that I told it I wanted to dock against. And then you say start. And so it's going to calculate that position in. You'll see as we get closer, it's going to, it sees the how wide it has between that cigarette boat and the dock. It'll put us right down the middle. So the cameras right now are telling it what to do, basic kind of. Yeah, it can see where we're wanting to go, it's monitoring that area. It's always monitoring all the way around, but anything in there that would pop up or be an obstruction, it would react to. If that cigarette boat started to pull off the dock, it would stop and pull away and keep a distance. Um, you can see the live feed follows the direction of the boat, but you do have the ability to toggle to other feeds if you wanted to see what the boat's seeing you know, in other areas, but otherwise it defaults back to the direction of the boat. So it is purposely splitting the difference between the cigarette boat and the dock. Yes. Because it looked whenever you were backing in, I noticed you're further away than we normally would dock. Yeah. But it's purposefully it's doing, doing that. that. Yeah. Because what it likes to do is it's going to come past the green boat, stop the momentum of the boat, and then kind of come up next to it and move sideways in as a final step. So, and this is interesting here. And this this slip's been kind of tricky. We've learned after the two days. These cement dock surfaces, the floats are about six feet deep underwater. And so when those engines throw thrust back, it bounces back and hits us and knocks us off the mark. I see. So the boat's having to account for that. Um, when we were first docking with the joystick, it took us three or four times to get in because you're throwing a lot of thrust sure. at, at the wall there. It's coming back and knocking. Yeah, the reverb. So yeah. now we're going to start the, the traverse in. It usually will do another slight adjustment, slow it down a bit. It's going to straighten it out again here because we got we got kicked a little bit by the thrust off the off the floats. And you have a bow thruster and and basically yeah. the three engines, no stern thruster or anything like Correct. that. Correct. Okay. About yeah, the bow thruster works together with the engines, all integrated together. So it's repositioning because we got we got kicked with some of the um, wash. Prop, prop wash off. But that's a lot, that's real life. We'd be dealing with that if we were trying to dodge. Sure. It doesn't mean the system can't handle it. Yeah. You know? Point is, if you can joystick through, so the question I get a lot is, can it work in low light? Yeah, it's like your phone, it can see more light than your eyes can. So if you got dock lights and stuff, it's usually enough, it'll, it can see the dock, it'll dock. Um, if you have currents and winds, if, if you could joystick through it, it will still auto dock. Now that chime means we're doing our final approach. Okay. So it's kind of telling you we're closing the last meter and see if you can tell when it hits the dock, it has such a gentle touch and then it'll do a positive push against the dock and hold the boat steady against the dock um, while you do the lines. So you don't I bounce off it. I just felt it barely yeah. touched. Yeah. Barely touched right there. So, And now you hear the engine revving totally up. Totally acceptable. And it's holding us, it's pushing us against the dock right so now. So it's pinning us to the dock. Yeah. Okay. So you can get lines tied um, and or hand your lines off to somebody to tie off and uh, you know safely do that without it bouncing off and trying to grab the dock. I mean, this is a over 30,000 pound boat. You know, so it's, Wow. Uh, it handles 40 feet, 30,000 pounds, all handled by the system. Um, really yeah. impressive. Yeah. So I'm going to... We appreciate you. Thanks for your time. Yeah, no, cool problem, at all. no problem at all. Hey guys, thanks for watching our IBEX content. Hey, if you or someone you know hasn't already been approached by SafeWake that does boating safety and technology, please drop us a line below. At SafeWake, we are committed to bringing the latest and greatest boating safety and technology to our audience. Thanks guys.